Well, all he does is win, win, win. <laughs> Jokic is the one who is making the difference. He is just that guy. Bruce Brown launches a three-pointer. That's good. So we have an amazing city that everybody should start paying attention to. We're live here in Miami for game three of the NBA Finals at the Kaseya Center where the Nuggets are clocking in a victory tonight. What an evening for fans, family and fans of the Nuggets still here in the arena celebrating. I don't think they're going to sleep tonight. It is going to be a long night and a long day until game four on Friday. It has been an incredible night. and. I have to say, Lionel, it feels like a much different team tonight than what we saw in game two back in Denver. Absolutely, it is. Uh, you heard Michael Malone say it live here on Denver 7. This was the best game they played so far in the series. They win game three. They take that crucial 2-1 series lead in the game four Friday night. So let's get the Nuggets path to victory sponsored by United Airlines. Here's how the Nuggets got the job done tonight in Miami. You know, I've been with Nicola for eight and uh, Jamal uh, for seven years now. And we've been, you know, we've had some pretty good moments, but not in the NBA Finals. And for those guys to make history the way they did tonight, uh, no one's ever done that. I, mean, I would say that um, it's what they do every game. Um, they make the right play. They didn't try to force anything. And, you know, that's what we expect from them. And they make everything easier on us. So um, that's what they do every game. And they make the right plays. And they didn't force anything. Uh, it's greatness, man. It's greatness. Uh, you know, it's a dynamic duel right there. Like CB said, they make the right play. Um, uh, they do what the game is asking for them. They take, they take what the game is giving them. Uh, and, you know, that's the type of game that we kind of expect from them. There you have it. Michael Malone, Christian Brown, Aaron Gordon saying the path to victory was <laughs> Jamal Murray <laughs> and Nikola Jokic. Both had over 30 points and triple doubles. The path to victory sponsored by United Airlines. All right, Jessica, let's get back to you at the Kaseya Center. Uh, you and Russell having the most fun out of anybody, uh, that's for sure. This is definitely not bad of an assignment, especially when your home team is winning away. Fans here in the arena just erupted with excitement, and Heat fans got very quiet towards the fourth quarter. Now it's all about the celebration. Let's go back out live to Denver 7's Russell Haythorn. He's outside of the Kaseya Center heading, he, uh, hanging out with fans. Russell. Yeah, Jessica, we're hanging out. We even heard that they were chanting, let's go Nuggets inside the Kaseya Center at the end of the fourth quarter. All these Nuggets fans erupting in a chant of let's go Nuggets after that amazing victory. Here we go again. I've got Cody here from Northern Colorado, right? Keensburg and Philip as well from Loveland. Cody, talk about that win. Talk about being here for this. Uh, it's a great event. My friend Philip brought me along. Uh, it's great to be here. Great to support the Nuggets. Uh, you know, the bench showed a lot of triumph in that game. And Christian Brown coming off the bench, that was awesome. Christian uh, Brown and Bruce Brown, right? Yeah, both, both of them. them both. So it was a great game. Get yeah. ready for four, go back to five, and sweep them. <laughs> there, done. You, there you go. Philip, how would you feel about it? Uh, you know, I mean, I've been to a game or in a road game in each series. Um, this is my ninth playoff game. And I mean, I feel like I've, you know, it's, it's a lot more. It's, a, it's exhausting, you know, flying around going to these games. I can only imagine how Joker feels. So um, I'm just glad we got the victory tonight and look to end this in game five. And you want to be there to support them, right? You went, so you went to an away game for every series during this playoffs. Is that right? It, it, yep, in these playoffs, yes. Yeah. So this, is, this is game nine. Um, uh -huh. We'll be there again on Monday. I mean, hopefully 10, call it a perfect 10. <laughs> right on. Yeah. All right, Co Hugs. Cody and Philip, thank you. And then we've got some Western Slope folks over here, right? I have Tiffany, John. And then their two daughters, Sienna and Scarlett? Yes. Who, who, who's who? I'm Scarlett. All right, Scarlett, tell me about that. What was it um, like being here? It's awesome. I love the stadium. It's so cool. And it's just cool to see everything, you know, different from Colorado. So. Yeah. You guys are from Montrose, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about coming out here. I think it's super cool. The humidity is definitely way opposite. And I think I like it out here. Yeah, yeah it's we're, nice. we're all glowing tonight. Yeah, that's Not sweating, yeah. glowing. John, what about for you, the Nuggets? I mean, you, you, have you been a longtime fan? Longtime fan, longtime Nuggets fan, and I just can't wait to, to bring the championship to, back to Colorado. Woo! We're all to yeah. Colorado for the first time. Yeah! 
Allison, what about you? Are you from here or from Colorado? I'm from Colorado, but I live in New York now, and I am so happy to be here. <laughs> um, what brought you down? I mean, did you come for the game, or what's your story? You know, it was so mystic because I was already having plans to be in Miami, and then the Nuggets were in Miami, so I was like, I have to come to the game and cheer on my team. Right on, and you're going to lead us in a cheer right now, right? Oh, yeah. What What's the cheer, Allison? Let's go, Nuggets! Let's go, Nuggets! I've got my Nuggets posse out here on the west steps of the Kaseya Center. And how, how appropriate, right, guys, that we're facing west? We take game four and then we go home. We go west and we take game five. Nuggets, nuggets in five. We like the sound of that. And I like the sound of these guys. We'll toss it back to you. Yeah, let's bring home that win, Russell. Well, Michael Porter Jr. is live in the locker room. He's speaking. Let's go ahead and listen in. Um, desperateness, and uh, we'll do it again on uh, Friday. Yeah, Friday. How crucial is it to get that game four for you guys? Uh, it's unbelievably crucial. We would much rather go home up 3-1 than tied 2-2 because, if, you know, that team thrives in adverse situations, you know what I mean? Um, to let Boston come back, tie it 3-3, and then to go into Boston, that just shows – the type of team they are, the resiliency and the, what they thrive in. So we would rather for sure go back on 3-1. <laughs> Mike, if you said, you know, maybe it's not your night, what do you do afterwards kind of just to keep your keep yourself calm, keep yourself even keel? I mean, what do you do for yourself mentally? Uh, I wouldn't really say I stay even keel. I definitely get I'm mad until the next game. You know, I'm happy for the team, but mad individually uh, just because I know how much work I put in. So to not see shots fall and things like that. Uh, it's tough. On, it's tough. I mean, some people deal with it better than others. For me, it's tough. But I will, I'll never lose confidence, you know what I mean? I'll stay confident in my shot, help my team win. Um, and if it's not my night, it's just not my night. I feel like I control the controllables tonight. That's really all I can ask of myself. Mike, did you see anything different in the way they were approaching the two-man game, the way they were guarding Nicola and Jamal, or how did you see if they were hit? Yeah, I thought they were uh, kind of trapping Maul um, a little bit more. So Maul got off it, found Yo for some easy ones. Um, but they're just doing so many different things. We're just having to kind of morph to what they're trying to do. They have a great coach who's throwing a, a lot of uh, different defenses at us. So. Mike, the, the dinner last day in the house, uh, work it. So are you demanding one more for Jeff uh, tonight <laughs> or tomorrow? Say it again. Do you want a dinner again in Jeff's yeah. house? Because it worked. Hey man, yeah, no. Another di uh, dinner at Jeff's house tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so. Is the adversity you've been through make the games like this easier to deal with or does it make it harder because you've gone through so much to get here? I mean, I was like this before all my injuries, just wanting to play well all the time, you know what I mean? So it's always tough, but I think because I've been through so many tough obstacles, what is it? I mean, what is a tough game? Like, I'll, I'll be upset, you know, in the way I perform, but then I'll, I'll just move on, you know what I mean? I can't, I'm not going to dwell on it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate Mike. it. You were just hearing from Michael Porter Jr. live from the locker room. And this has been an exciting night, but we have much more live team coverage and we'll hear from more players when we come back.